Okay, I'm now going to teach you how to uh, thread the machine. We're going to start with the spool. Now this is the spool. It can either be plastic or metal. And it goes on this little spoke here. Put it on there. Push it down. Now with the thread, I'm going to bring it around this little tension spoke here. And back around the spool and you have to go clockwise and can make sure that it's quite tight right, I've gone around there a few times now, I think and now I'm going to push it towards the stopper okay and now I'm going to fill the spill I first need to switch my machine on and I now have to make sure that the needle doesn't go up and down as the spill is actually filling so I'm going to pull um, the hand wheel out some machines you actually have to hold it and then uh, release the tension so now it's um, ready for me to actually fill the spill I'm now going to I'm actually going to hold this here just to give it a head start and as you can see it's starting to fill and that's all you need to do that's it and once it's actually full I'm not going to do that now you just release the bank stopper take it off and that's it Okay, I'm now ready to thread the top of the machine. I'm going to get the thread and put it around the first hook here. I'm going to go down the first of two slits, down there and around here. Some machines actually do have little directions to help guide you in order to thread it. And now I'm going up through the second slit and there's another hook there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my hand wheel in order to bring it up. There we go. I'm going to hook it through that one just done that and I'm going to go back down through the second slit back down there and then I've got another hook here I'm just going to hook the thread around there and then I have a smaller one here which is near the needle they're quite, they're quite easy to actually thread through there we go now I'm going to thread the eye of the needle so I'm going to put my foot down I'm going to bring my needle to its highest point there by using the hand wheel and now I'm going to thread through. You can actually get needle threaders if um, you can't see the eye of the needle. Um, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> okay, yes I've got it through and bring the, need the thread through the needle as you can see. Right, I'm going to actually put um, the needle, the thread through under the feet, lift the feet up, put the thread under there so it's actually at the back of the machine. Now we're ready to thread the uh, bottom of the machine which is the spool. So I'm going to take away this section of the machine which you find with most machines and let's place that there. Now we've got a door here which opens down and that is the spool case area. Now this is the uh, spool case and now I'm going to put the thread, sorry, the spool into the case. I will do it like that. And we have two slits here, one there and another one there. Okay, so I'm going to bring the thread through that slit there, around this band and around that slit there, as you can hear. And that basically means it's, the tension's good. Okay, and now I've got this lever here, which helps you to put it into the machine so I'm going to hold on to that I'm going to put it in there just give it about until I can hear it click into place now I need to bring this thread to the top of the machine here along with this thread so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my hand wheel which is at the side of the machine I'm going to bring the needle down and I'm going to hold on to this thread here a little bit just when the needle goes down okay and what it's actually doing is actually picking up the thread so you soon see a little loop which means I've caught the thread and it's ready to be pulled through to the top of the machine you can just see it just there there we go and so now both threads are at the top of the machine so once that's done that's it just close the door threads to the back and put section of the machine back and you're ready to sew.